This is Roppongi Rocks and we are backstage at Skooks Royet with Eric Martin from Mr. Big. That's right. Is it Skooks Roger or Skooks Royet? Skooks Royet. Okay, good. That's good. Yeah, we're backstage. We're on the tour bus, the Mr. Big tour bus, the home away from home that we've been on for months and months. Actually, we've been on this tour for about a year. And uh, this is our second leg in Europe. We've done two Americas, two Europes, one South America, and all over Asia, you know, including Japan. Woo! -hoo! Indeed. But the band is still on fire. I mean, it's on form, but you've said this is the final tour. Yeah, this is the final tour, but it's <clears throat> slightly bittersweet because we're, you know, it's the end and it's hard to get, like, you know, every night is like savoring the moment of like, can I thank you for, you know, we, we, we do a cover song in the end, Baba O'Reilly by The Who. Paul Gilbert just loves Pete Townsend, so. Right. And it's like, teenage wasteland. <laughs> and it's so great. But, and Billy goes, you know, you'll live forever in our hearts, or I, some things, poetic things that he says. And then, you know, I'm waving goodbye, thinking that, oh, I'll see you next time. But, I mean, I will see you next time, probably playing some karaoke bar, bar mitzvah, or some <laughs> sort of uh, acoustic thing. Because I, I, I do acoustic shows every year. Right. But I won't be playing with, like, the best players in the world, for me, anyway. Yeah. You know, so... It's it weird. is it is bittersweet, but and I think somewhere down the line, this was about a week ago. I I thought started thinking, I think we might be shooting ourselves in the foot here because we're so tight and we are on fire. And I don't know if it's a novelty that this is the big finish and it's over, and the crowds are coming. But I mean, it sold out shows pretty much every night, and the festivals are great. We played Vakken the other day to a bigger crowd than we did last time. It was like 25,000 people. And again, we did another cover. We did Wild World, which was on our Bump Ahead album. Nice. And it was like, wow, wow. I mean, I I almost, I know I'm jumping around here, but I went in to Billy and Paul's dressing room. Me and the a drummer share the other one. And I, and I go, I don't think we should play Wild World tonight. I see a sea of black shirts and helmets and horns and shit and I don't think we should do that and he goes man you're stupid we should do it we gotta do it it's a hit man and then we did it and I got the lips from the band going I told you yeah so, yeah we're so like I'm quoting you but we're on fire and it feels like oh man I mean I, we're not the kind of band when we say that we're gonna quit and it's over and we're not touring anymore we may do a one-off here and there every couple of years or whatever, but we're not going to be like the Motley Crews and the Kisses. And no, <laughs> no offense to them because the crowds keep coming to see them, yeah. you know. But we're not going to do it. And just maybe have too much pride in it, you know. We say goodbye. We already did. Yeah. And you got a new album out now. And are there any chances of future albums together? I did an interview the other day with um, Billy, and. Uh, you know, like, I'm not my brother's keeper. I don't know what he thinks, and I, I know what I think, that I'd like to do albums. If we're not going to tour anymore for different reasons. <clears throat> I mean, I just don't want to tour lengthy. Re this has been a year. I, I, I just can't do it. I'm too old to... Everybody goes, oh, what about the Rolling Stones? Yeah, what about the Rolling Stones? <laughs> Flying in, playing one show, and I, two weeks later playing another show. Yeah, this, this is back-to-back -back touring. Hardly any hotels. I mean, the buses suffice, but you know, it's it's like a big camping trip for older men. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> so, fun. I would like to do other albums. But the interview went like this: the guy goes, "You're going to do another album?" I'm like, "I'd like to." And Billy goes, "No, that's it. That's right." I'm like, "All right, All right two, yeah. But like, but he's the guy that always says, "Never say never." So, fair enough. Yeah. Never know. yeah. And now is a festival gig tonight. You did walk in the other day. It's also a festival gig. Is there a difference for you as a performer when there's a festival gig? Because it's not just your audience, so to speak, compared to a headline show. Yeah, no, it's a challenge, kind of. It's, uh, I mean, we're, we're not taking the easy way out at all. I'm not letting the crowd do every song, you know, that kind <laughs> of shit. I mean, once in a while, I, we do a song, Just Take My Heart, 
and uh, everybody's singing it anyway, and I'm singing it too, and I'm like, oh, oh, come on, tough guys, come on, rock stars, let me hear you. <clears throat> but in this kind of gig, they don't know all the the nuances of our, not, they, there are some diehard fans that come here to see us, but they're also except diehard fans and heat diehard fans and darkness diehard fans and Danko Jones, you know? Yeah. So it's trying to win them over. You know, it's like playing like when we were started out in the late 80s, you know, and the rock bands playing the shows and there'd be people, you know, especially musicians going, all right, you know, prove something to me, you know, and that's what it kind of feels like. But that's a good feeling. I, I like, hey, look, I love working for it, you know, and then it pays off in the end. Yeah. And obviously with the band now, you, Paul and Billy, you know, you're a core team. You're yeah. very different, but you seem to get along very well. And pretty good. You know, and yeah, I mean, different... we're older now. We, <laughs> yes. you know, we did break up a little bit in 2002, 2003, around that time, <clears throat> and that was a that was not a good time. I mean, and it was still to this day. I don't know what it. You know, it was like one of those things where two factions are fighting and they can't. Like, what are they fighting about? I don't know. It's, it was decades ago. No one really knows. But uh, you kind of lose the taste for hate after four, three, four years. Yeah. And I know each of us wanted to call each other. I called them. I called Billy and I said, hey man, I want to do this again. And he goes, oh, yeah, I've been thinking about this too. How do you think Paul would do it? And Paul was, you know, let me uh, let me just tell you like a quick story about this. So I, I called Billy, I reached out to him to see if uh, Yamaha made a base for a, a left-handed, um, uh, player and it was going to be for my kid my son Dylan learning how to play bass and Billy said no but if I see something like that I'll, I'll, I'll turn you on to it so he found a bass at a pawn shop and he stuck a bunch of Billy Sheen stickers on it gave me his instructional book and a tape and it was surreal because I hadn't talked to Billy in like five years really I ran it to Paul and a few clinics and Pat I, I kept in contact with him a lot but uh it was surreal to have my son playing the bass, listening to Billy Sheen's voice at Christmas time, five years later, you know? So I took a video of that and I sent it to him and he, you know, was touched by it. And then we started talking and then that was like the olive branch that brought us back together. Wow. And then uh, Paul was playing a gig at the House of Blues in LA with Richie Kotzen was opening, wow. which is another alumnist. Yes. And Pat Torpy was playing with Richie Kotzen. So, I told Billy about it. Billy went there and they all played 30 Days in the Hole together and the crowd went nuts. I mean, way, it was a Paul Gilbert gig, but it's a Mr. Big thing and the yeah. crowd just went bonkers. And Paul reached, looked over at Richie and he, he, he thought to his head, he goes, yeah, I wish that was Eric. And then, you know, that was 2009, January 19th, 2009. And I remember that because my brother's birthday, but, um, and we all got together and we never, and we never argued again, you know? Uh, yeah, man, we're, a, we're a rock and roll band and we, we pass each other in the night sometimes going to the bathroom going, what's up? I mean, that's yeah. not, you know, but. <laughs> that's great yeah. though. 